Where's the rookies? Um, I <laughs> think this. Heck? I think series two is highlighted by O'Neill Cruz. I know Cody was looking over the checklist and he couldn't find guys. Couldn't find some of the guys that we were thinking might be on here. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's it's a little rough to say the least. And now there's probably a lot of reasons for this, um, and we'll talk about that. But I, I think like in years past, we have been used to like Otani's in series two, Fernando Tatis is in series two. All these big rookies that make their debut on opening day usually end up in series two. So I think there's probably an expectation from a lot of collectors that hey. Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt, Spencer Torkelson, come on down. And we got O'Neal Cruz, and I'd say the second best rookie in there. By the way, O'Neal Cruz still in the minors. Shane Baz? Uh, Shane Baz, maybe. Uh, and Juan Yepes of the St. Louis Cardinals, who, who was not a big rookie going into the season, is just doing Is well it, now. So that, that was your guy. That's my guy. That's your guy. That's my guy. That's Seth my guy. Seth Beer, though. Seth Beer. Great name. Great. Best name. Best name. Absolutely best name. I'm going through it right now just to see if it, anything sticks out at me. Joe Ryan? Joe Joe Ryan might be the only other notable name. And again, he's a pitcher. Curvin Castro for the Giants? Joe Curvin. Uh, who? Yeah. Brian Miller. Uh, you gotta, Glenn did you Otto. Called, did he get called up? You have to be called up. To uh, have a Cur- card, Curvin right? was on the playoff roster last year. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Him Col- and Del- oh, Colton Welker been a prospect a forever. He's corner, a yeah. Cornerstone of the 108 win season. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I so you forgot. You're, I forgot. So you're basically <laughs> looking at O'Neill Cruz. And if you're a Twins fan, Joe Ryan, who's been great, but he's a pitcher. Um, so yeah. It's, it's uh, a little disappointing to say the least, but. I think with supply chain issues and with the lockout, it kind of explains why this is happening. Because the fact is, I think if Tops could put at least one of these guys in, they probably would. So they don't want to put out a set with just O'Neill Cruz to anchor it when you've got Bobby Witt starting to turn it on. You've got Julio Rodriguez performing so well. You've got so many. Jeremy Pena of the Houston Astros has been one of the best rookies in baseball and he's not in here so uh it's, the good news is update's gonna be maybe the most stacked version of update we may oh here's ever interesting seen. though bobby witt does have an auto yeah, there are some autos uh, i don't know if that's there. gonna have a rookie logo on it right. or not there are some autos in there i want to ask you guys is it unprecedented to see guys that were not in series one and series two make a debut in tops chrome is that ever happen or is that something that we're just not going to be no, able to i think on? it'd be update yeah that's what I thought. I when think. does up- update come out again? Probably October, um, September, October. Yeah, like at the end of the year, like into the. I think in the playoffs, maybe. Damn. Yep. So, um, I I think you were right on with the uh, the uncertainty of the beginning of the season, spring training, uh, having the lockout. We don't know the logistics of when they get a lot of these photographs for these rookies. Some of these rookies probably get photographs. Who are going to make the team at spring training mm-hmm. and uh that didn't really happen we had a yeah. spring training of what maybe two weeks two and a half weeks as right. opposed to six to eight weeks um yeah i think that had a lot to do with it again this product was in the works probably around that time yeah so this Absolutely. product was in the works when we didn't know if we were going to have a baseball Well, I'm season. sure they're, I mean, at least for the vets, I'm sure they're making Series 1, Series 2, and Update all at the same time. Well, maybe not Update, but like Series 1 and Series 2 at the same time for the vets, right? Um, I am looking at the uh, cut autograph checklist, which obviously is very, very, very hard to hit because they make a lot of it. Mm-hmm. But there is uh, Cy Young. Oh, um, old High Pockets Kelly. High Pockets Kelly. Ernie Banks. Um, Harmon Killebrew. Joe DiMaggio. Um, Ty Cobb. Satchel Page. So there's some decent cut autos, but... Have you pulled a cut out of a series? Never. Yeah, no. In all our no. years of breaking no. series one and tough. two. So you're saying it's like it's like winning the lottery, but they are there. There's some chase there for those. Um, but I'm yeah. calling it. We're going to pull one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at this point, for people to get in on series two, I just there's just not, unless you're a Pirates fan, what's the reason to, to grab series two right now? And it, it might as if well just wait I mean, but update. again, we're – we're looking at this as series two being it's a set builders product yeah of course i mean you're gonna get people who they build the series one and series two sets every year they're not really chasing the rookies as much as they're chasing who does the that whole set 
You do that? Collectors. I day in and day out. Wouldn't you just buy the factory I'm the, set? I'm the set collector king, is what they I, call and, me. And, 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 <laughs> set collector and, and, pa- and pack building is it, pa- set collector king. Pa- uh, pack. Uh, Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> pack. Don't, don't though, because I, I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> I mean, there is people that like to build it organically, but I'm just saying I'd probably just buy the set. Okay. Well, the fact is, is uh, me we also need to be able to sell this product, Doug. So... Uh, <laughs> If you are looking for Series 2 boxes, hobby boxes, jumbo boxes, mojobreakshop.com has got that for you. Now, and you are going to be putting breaks up here at mojobreak.com <laughs> of the jumbo variety. There's 300 or 3,000, over 3,000 cards. So you want to look at it that way. There's a lot of value there. You got a chance it's a Ty Cobb and the O'Neill Cruz. And now, and I'm sorry to be the guy who poo poos on everything, but. If I, because uh, Topps Chrome, I think this also then sets the precedent of like, okay, what are we getting in Topps Chrome? They make so much Topps Chrome that I, it, it's, don't have high hopes. Right. It was just Wander, go, right? Go, yeah, go Wander. in. Wander? Wander would wander. be enough. Go, yeah, but yeah, Wander's going to be enough. But go in with pretty low expectations. Do not go in with, they're going to have Bobby Witt. They're going to have. <laughs> Torkelson. I don't think they're going to have gonna, any of those guys. Might throw yeah. a Rushman in there. Well, that's the thing is it's at this point, because, I mean, we're going to get an update Chrome. So if I'm thinking about Wait, which one. an update Chrome? Hold I on. I mean, they had update Chrome this year. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. in like the small. They've been box. having update Chrome oh, for. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. So if I'm. I if, thought you meant like, like a full hobby release of update Chrome. So if I'm no. thinking about. I mean, well, I mean, hell, at this point, because w- who are you probably going to get an update? You're going <laughs> to. Because you're going to have. Rodriguez, wait. A lot Pena, of rookies that are not Torkelson, in regular Chrome hobby. Tons. Or do they hold all these guys out to 2023? That would they be hold them insane. all out for Bowman's best. It's going to be interesting <laughs> to see how fanatics, t- you know, like how, how like what their um, what their ideas on this situation is going to be, right? Because Tops has their own, like they know what they, we know what Tops would do, but what is Fanatic is going to do? But yeah, getting back to Chrome real quick though, uh, cr- nobody has ever really had an issue selling Tops Chrome no. or pretty much the last decade but you again know. if if i last am somebody sucked, if i'm somebody who's saying okay which one am i gonna buy i feel like i mean who knows the update list could be like they hold rodriguez and pena and and it sounds like they're gonna hold rushman until next year next year so for sure. if that's the case then maybe it makes it a little harder but if it's like wit and all these guys are in there then i think it's a pretty easy decision which one i'm gonna go with yeah i mean I think there's going to be a lot of speculating speculation heading into update. Yeah. Um, but again, it's I think not, you, you, not going to prevent people from buying series. You two, can't though. count it's still it. One. There's no way they got Rushman. They're not going to get Rushman. Yeah, Rushman. Yeah, Rushman, Rushman is right. next year. But I think sure. I saw the tops now distinction. He doesn't have his rookie dis, uh, logo on Bobby the tops Witt now. Bobby Witt should be an update. Safe to say, right? Yeah, I think he's in. Yeah. Any anybody who made their team on opening day should be in. Seo Suzuki as well uh, of the Cubs. I didn't even mm-hmm. mention him. He should be in. So yeah, update's going to be solid. But again, I think series two is it has its place. And again, set collectors, a thing. They're going to like it. They're going to get down with it. So yeah, you got some past. You got Otani made his debut series two. Uh, Luis Robert, uh, Tatis, uh, Jazz Chisholm, and then we, do we not have one in twenty twenty one? No, uh, Jazz Chisholm was uh, 2021 Series 2. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but he so. debuted in September, so I think that's kind of where you see the cutoff right there is when things maybe change for gotcha. their holding guys, um, obviously with everything that happened in, in 2020 and, and all that. 